X, Y, and Z are three software experts who work on upgrading a software in a number of identical system. X takes a day off after every three days of work. So X works for three days. X, 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 and then a day off. X, 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 and then a day off. And so on. Y takes a day off after every four days. Y, 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 and then day off. Four days, and then a day off, and so on. Z takes a day off after five days of work. Z, 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 and then a day off. Five days and a day off, and so on. Starting afresh after a common day off, X and Y working together can complete one upgrade job in six days. In six days, X would have got only one day off. Y would have also got only one day off. So this scenario is five days of X. Five days of Y can complete one upgrade job. Z and works X working together can complete two new upgrade jobs in eight days. I completely missed this too when I was doing the first time. This also I was in such a hurry that I missed it and it drove me mad. So be careful. Z and works working together can complete two upgrade jobs in eight days. In eight days, X will work six days. Six days of X. How much will Z work? Z takes Every six days he misses one day. Of eight days he'll miss only one day. Plus seven Z equals two upgrade jobs. Where X is the amount of work X does in a day. Z is the amount of work Z does in one day. Y and Z working together can complete three new upgrade jobs in twelve days. In twelve days Y will work. Y will get two days off. Every five days he gets one day off. So ten days of Y. Z will also get only two days off plus ten days of Z is three. If X, Y, and Z start together, start afresh on a new upgrade job after a common day off, exactly how many days will be required to complete this job? Wonderful. So five X plus five Y equals one. Six X plus seven Z equal to two. Ten Y plus ten Z equal to three. Find whatever links x, y, and z, and then we should be good to go. And so, uh, let's simplify this. Let's multiply this by by six. Thirty x plus thirty y. Multiply this by two. Twenty y plus twenty z. Multiplying this by six. Multiplying this by two. Both are equal. Thirty x plus thirty y is twenty y plus twenty z. So three x. Plus three y equals two y plus two z. I was hoping that something would get cancelled. It's not. So I do it the more uh, brute force way. Multiply this by two. So ten x plus ten y equals two. Subtract one from the other. Ten z minus ten x is one. That's one equation to go with. So let's eliminate y in some other fashion. Or let's eliminate x from here. Or is there something else easily eliminable? This x will eliminate. So multiply this by six. Thirty x plus thirty y is six. Multiply this by five. Thirty x plus thirty five z is ten. X goes away. Thirty five z minus thirty y is four. That's going to be a complete nightmare. We've got something linking. Z and X, something linking Z and Y. So we can get both Y and X in terms of Z, and then substitute it back. It's going to be a complete nightmare. Is there a better way of doing this? Can we find X plus Y plus Z in some form? Nah, not happening. Not happening. And so let's do this the brute force way. Thirty-five Z minus thirty Y is four. 10z minus 10x is so one. We've eliminated x in one equation. We've eliminated y in one. We can eliminate z and get something linking x and y. Then substitute one and the other. Or we can say we can get y in terms of that. 35z minus 4 is 30y. 10z minus 1 is 10x. 5y is 35z minus 4 by 6. 5x is 10z minus 1 by 2. 5x plus 5y is 1. So 35z minus 4 by 
35z minus 4 by 6 plus 10z minus 1 by 2 equals 1 or 35z minus 4 plus 30z minus 3 equals 6 65z is 13z is 1 by 5 I'm very relieved with that 1 by 5 it's a nice number to go with we can take that 1 by 5 in some equation 10z minus 10x is 1 let's plug it in 10z minus 10x is 1 10 into 1 by 5 is 2 2 minus 10x is 1 or x is 1 by 10 we know 5x plus 5y is 1 5x plus 5y is 1 x is 1 by 10 half plus half is 1 y is also 1 by 10 so in one day they do 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 this is 4 by 10 or 2 by 5 in one day the first day they'll do 2 by 5 second day they'll do 2 by 5 third day they'll have only 1 by 5 remaining in half a day they'll finish it off thankfully there's no chutti till then nobody's taking a day off two and a half days that works painful algebraic question better avoided Shh.